guys, this is Trey with Mixcat Computers. Today we're going to do a conversion on this one, this screen here, from a CCFL backlight to an LED backlight. Now the reason we're doing this is because as you can see, this bulb is starting to go bad. And this is one of my personal systems. So, it's starting to go bad, I need to get a brighter screen. This screen is an old gateway monitor that we've already done the conversion on. And this has the LED strips lighting from top and bottom. As you can see from the difference here, this is kind of yellowish, green, blue, and red, black and white. They're kind of washed out, they're kind of faded. It doesn't look real clear, but the same image over here on this side. Turn off my picture in picture. Nice and, nice and bright, nice and clear. You can see everything. It's a good image. So we're going to go ahead and shut these down. And on a CFL bulb, um, power consumption wise versus LED, who do you typically uh, it's see? It's about 6 watts versus 3 watts. That's beautiful, so better so, battery life. Yeah, it's half the power consumption for the light. You can even see there, the blues, the Much greens, more the right. Yeah. yeah. Now, here we are with an LED strip. This is one that we modified. It's actually pulled from a LED screen. It was a 17.3 LED screen that was broken. Um, customer brought in the laptop, needed a new screen installed. We put a new screen and we pulled these components from it. Now this is part of the board. This is actually the stepper circuit. And what this does is this takes the 19 volts from your laptop, from the input from the inverter, right here. And we're going to take that and we're going to run that with enable light, dimmer switch, and ground four wires. That's all it takes. And what this will do is this will step it up from 19 volts to 27 volts in order to power the light. And we're going to go ahead and show you that now. Now here right now what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to kick this on so you guys can actually see what happens. Um, I've disconnected my laptop's inverter. I've plugged in the LED backlight controller. I'm going to go ahead and fire that up. As you can see, pretty bright. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see it, but I've got my computer turning on. Obviously, very bright. Doesn't run hot. I'm holding it right here in my hand. And there we go. Windows started up. So now we're going to go ahead and install this in the screen. We'll show you all that in just a second. All right, so here we are. We got the frame from the screen off. We're about to pull the ball out. This part you gotta be careful with because you don't want to break it. The bulb does have mercury in it. So just take your time and be easy with it. Really hate this part. We've actually swapped out quite a few of those little mercury bulbs over the years. Always fun. They get burnt on the ends and it's really cool when they pop in your face and you get glass in your eyes or up your nose. Yeah, wear glasses and the proper gear to keep yourself safe. And Perfect. The old bulb. see here on the end where the bulb is starting to turn black on the inside that means they're going bad probably because the screen's been running non-stop for about three years straight yeah, now right. doesn't really ever get shut down just like a regular fluorescent bulb you get those rings at the end when they're starting to go building up resistance in the, the end they carbonize and then they go and they die. Sometimes you get a red hue. You see a red hue, you know that bulb's getting ready. What's the lifespan on LED? Um, they say 100,000 hours. It's a lot of time. Yep. And it's bright. Yep. Very bright. What's the operation voltage of a CFL? 
Uh, 27,000 volts for fire and I think 19,000 volt continuous operation. LED, 3.3 volts. <laughs> A lot more efficient. And now some places will tell you you don't need the frame. We like to reuse the frame here because it adds a little bit of rigidity to the, to the lights. And you don't want your lights bouncing around while they're in the system. So I'm this up. I'm going to realign this on here. On that bottom, that's just a reflector plate, right? To yep. bring the light up. Helps the diffuser out a little bit. So this modification is good for pretty much any CFL any, style light. Any, C, any C CFL screen. Laptop, TV? Um, I haven't done a TV yet. <laughs> but I'm sure I can. So for the HPs, we've done quite a few of those and we'll be offering a uh, package to our YouTube viewers. If you're interested in that, check out the description below for we'll some more information. Use board on. So this modification, you won't actually need an inverter. Nope. That is awesome. What's the voltage out on the that ribbon cable operation voltage? 18? On the laptop, it's 18 volts. Once you hit the stepper board, it steps it up to 27 volts. That's low current, so it doesn't take a lot of power. And you gotta be really gentle inside there. No, it's completely original. Let's see, we're reusing all of the original parts. Just whatever, yeah, whatever is on it. So we got everything back together now. We got the inverter board. I like to secure it down with just a little bit of electrical tape. Let's see how she works. Yeah, it's going to be interesting to see the before and after. I'll put them side by side and let the people judge for themselves. Great way to extend the life of the battery, get a better screen, and nice upgrade. Yep. Very nice upgrade. <laughs> oh, look at that.
that's a huge difference. <laughs> My logo is actually blue again. Instead of green. That really is bright. Damn. That really <laughs> is bright. Got a little bit of refraction on the bottom. I think it looks cool. That is bright. Going from a non-LED screen to now an LED screen. <laughs> oh man! Only at Mixed Cat Computers. Mad scientist. <laughs> that was a huge difference. Yeah, it's bright. Hannibal. Go check out his screen. That's bright. I just upped this screen from like a 500 to 1 contrast ratio to a 700 or to a 1000 to 1. Double the contrast ratio. Looks great. Mm -hmm. I'm a happy camper. Can't complain here. There you go. Not bad for a project. Yeah, that's nope. Good.